You saw the first hour there on Monday night? Well, I've seen all of it, so <laughs> it's really good. I think people are going to love it. Um, ABC on you know May 11th, I think you, you couldn't ask for a better stage to showcase that documentary. and uh, It gives a, a really good glimpse into you know our lives, our programs, our families' lives. Um, and it's interesting. It's, it's, it's really well done. And obviously, they kind of had to rush to put that together. And usually, you get a couple years to make a documentary like that. But because of the quick turnaround with, you know, obviously, they're going to try for season two, but also our season ended. So being able to put that together, I think they did a tremendous job. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see the rest. There was a couple pieces that they had changed that I really liked. So um, I recommend everybody watch it. It's, it's pretty great. Now that you've been here for almost three or four weeks now, mm -hmm. and so much praise about you during the press conference and blew people away. Uh, what has it been like for you as far as just the support you've received here from these fans and just been on the streets in downtown Indianapolis? Yeah, people definitely know who I am. Um, <laughs> so I think that's that's been a little difficult. Sometimes it's hard to go out and do what I want to do, but at the same time, like I wouldn't want it any other way. Like that's the best way to help grow women's basketball. Um, it's the best way to get these fans excited about um, what we're gonna do here. So. I think, you know, people are just ex excited as we are to play here tomorrow. Um, so I think more than anything, just enjoy it, soak it in. I think everybody else is just as excited as I am. The coaching staff is excited. I mean, we played on the road and we were soaking in that experience, whether half the people were cheering for us, a lot of them were cheering against us. But, you know, having a sold out crowd like that, like that's not for anything that gets old. And whether it's sold out tomorrow or the rest of the season, I know no matter what, there's going to be a ton of people in here supporting us. So. When you're signing autographs after games, and now you see like your first game will be on Disney Plus, which opens yeah. opens everything up to probably young girls, more kids in that audience. How much do you think about maybe the little you watching Maya or whomever growing up and, and now this being exposed to a whole new audience? Yeah, I saw that it was on Disney Plus. I think it's the first live streamed event of any kind, at least sporting event. So that's pretty cool, and obviously a lot of my, my fans are young girls and young boys, um, and a lot of women's basketball fans are young girls that are, you know, inspired to want to be like us one day. So I think it's a it's a great resource to, you know, show our game, show our platform, and I hope they continue to put games on there, not only the Fever games, but across the board, the WNBA, you know, getting to play on different platforms that different people can, you know, see, I think is going to be huge for our league. And, um, yeah, I mean, that was always a resource that I wanted to have when I was growing up, you know, whether it was watching on ESPN, whether it was going in person, um, I always wanted to be around the game. So, you know, the more ways we can connect with our fans, I think it's going to help the league grow. Can you feel the energy you. in the city right now with Pacers and the race coming up? And you Absolutely. Guys feed I'm super all. excited. I'm going to the game on Friday. I'll be over there <laughs> cheering. So I think, you know, it's a great time, you know, for the city of Indianapolis. I think, you know, the hype around, you know, Fever, the Pacers, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, two really great organizations that are really investing and wanting to make it right, really good. And I've been following the Pacers all year long. So getting to see what they've been doing is pretty special. Hopefully they can, you know, steal one in New York before they come back here. And then I know this place will be rocking.